Did you see the recent recruitment video of CIA? I don't know if you caught that or not. Have you had a chance to see it? Yeah, I did. I did. What do you think about it? Um, well, there's a lot, there's a lot to, uh, to discuss there. A, I think it's right. I think it's a good idea for the agency to try to shine a, a small light on the, the work of the agency and the intel community in general. Uh, and I know that's what they've been trying to do over the past couple of years. Um, and I think that's, that's good um, to the degree that they, they can and that it doesn't uh, impact you know, sources and methods and all the rest of it. And that's not something they would do. The ad itself, um, I think they probably could have field tested it a little bit better. And, and, and by that, what I mean is it's a, it's, it's a much more diverse work environment than people give it credit for. It's not, it's not perfect, but then again, no institution or business or community in America is, right? And they, uh, and they realize that, and they're always trying to improve. But I think what they should have done is taken some of those folks who don't have cover issues, meaning if, you're, if, if you have cover, you're not going to get in one of these ads, um, and, and have various folks within the agency talking about the challenges and the excitement and the benefits and the, the career paths available, right? Rather than talking about one individual walking around and saying, look, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not ticking boxes, but then they proceed to tick a bunch of boxes. Um, or they talk about it as if it's me, me, me. And almost in the, by the time they finish, it's almost like, what, have people been assailing you? Have people been, you know, claiming all these things that you say you're not? Like, are you you didn't earn this. You did. Of course, she earned it. She's there, right? The agency doesn't. You know, that, that's so. Let, let me just play the first thirty uh, seconds. If the audience hasn't seen it, just for them to get a glimpse of it, because they're probably saying, "What what commercial are we talking about?" Yeah, good I'm point. I'm just gonna play the first thirty seconds. When I was seventeen, I quoted Zora Neale Hurston's "How It Feels to Be Colored Me" in my college application essay. The line that spoke to me stated simply, "I am not tragically colored." There is no sorrow dammed up in my soul nor lurking behind my eyes. I do not mind at all. At 17, I had no idea what life would bring, but Sora's sentiment articulated so beautifully how I felt as a daughter of immigrants then and now. Nothing about me was or is tragic. I am perfectly made. I can wax eloquent on complex legal issues in English while also belting Guayaquil. I still wouldn't think this is a CIA commercial. No. I'm still curious, what commercial is this? crying toddler with the other. I am a woman of color. I am a mom. I am a cisgender mother. Still don't know. I did not sneak into CIA. Now I know. Now you know. Is not the result of a fluke or slip through the cracks. I earned my way in, and I earned my way up the ranks of this organization. I am educated, qualified, and competent. And sometimes I struggle. I struggle feeling like I could do more, be more to my two sons. And I struggle leaving the office when I feel there's so much more to do. I used to struggle with imposter syndrome, but at 36, I refuse. Is this a challenge the CIA is having where they have to make a video like this to show that they're diverse and inclusive? No, I think this is just a uh, this is just emblematic of the times that we currently live in, right? I mean, I think that I think they're doing the same thing that you know, in a way that Coca Cola did by you know uh, chastising ML MLB or or you know uh, the All Star Game, or I, I just think it's it's sort of a knee jerk reaction in a way, you know. And again, not not denigrating. Look, she's you know full marks to her. She's you know she's. Uh, in there and she's working and so she's clearly smart capable all those things right it just sounds like from the ad that like i don't think anybody's walking around saying she's occupying space she's not supposed to or or you know claiming all these things it just it just sounds it sounds very defensive and it also sounds a little bit too meist right rather than this is a team this is an organization that works together like and when it works together and in in the right fashion it is an, an amazing thing of beauty from an operational perspective. Um, so it almost looks like the complete opposite of what Jonah Mendes talked about. Jonah Mendes talked about when you do a, when you become a CIA agent, it's about being ambitious, driven, competitive, smart, intellectual, charism charismatic, all this stuff, but you don't need the recognition versus here. It's more like, look at me. It's about me. Look how great. I'm. 
Again, I thought maybe they're doing this because there's some internal challenges going on with the CIA where, you know, not enough Latinas, not, not, not enough women, not enough African-Americans. But I would assume that in the CIA, you almost have to recruit folks from different nationalities and ethnicities because if you're going into different markets, you need to kind of blend in. I remember one time my dad comes yeah. up to me and uh, we have someone in our family that used to be part of the MI6. And eventually we found out years later. And it's funny because uh, that person took the same route as you, journalistic, you know, they went through the media route and then boom, they got picked up. Sometimes that's pretty common. My dad says, hey, you, you can tell me, you, you can tell me. I said, what's that, dad? Tell me, it's okay, I, I, I know, I already know at this point. I said, dad, honestly, I swear to God, I have no clue what you're talking about. He says, how long have you been with the CIA? I said, you think I'm with the CIA? He says, how long have you been with the CIA? You can wink if you are. I said, dad, I'm not part of it. <laughs> wink if so you are. <laughs> it took him five years to think that his son's part of it. I'm like, I'm telling you, I'm not part of the CIA. Yeah. But he, uh, uh, till today, I think he still has a little bit of a skepticism whether I am or not. But anyways, I see this here. I say, I don't know. I don't know if the ad is, uh... hey, by the way, has CIA always done commercials or no? Have they done commercials? No, no, no. It's, I mean, it's not the first one they've done. And, and you know, again, they've got a Twitter page and, and, you know, and I, and I get why they're doing it, right? I just, again, I just think it's the wrong path, the wrong marketing message, right? Have, you know, she could have simply by talking about if she, if she had been the same individual and she had just been walking through the hallways talking about the, the challenges, the benefits of working for the agency, right? You're already sending a message by having her deliver that, but you're talking about an organizational effort and a team effort and all those things. So I think the interesting thing about this, this particular ad is, look, they've pissed off both sides, right? They pissed off all the people who are tired of the, of the wokeism and think that it's, it's the wrong path to, to take and it's dividing people. And it's also pissed off, interestingly, all those cats that dig talking about uh, wokeism, you know, and that, that are all woke themselves. And because now what they're complaining about, what they're pissed off about is that the, the CIA has, in their minds, usurped their language, right? Taken their language of wokeism and used it for their own benefit. So somehow that's wrong. So both sides are, are irritated by this. Uh, you know, you could argue that people are talking about it. Uh, and if that's your metric, you know, for success, then, hey, fine. But it, it's the CIA, not Pepsi Cola. So I don't think that should be the metric. So if you like this little short clip from an interview I did, click over here to watch the entire interview. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.